What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I want to talk about XRP and mainly focus on the price prediction and not just any price prediction. The price prediction for XRP at the end of April. Now, if you know me and you've watched my channel, you know that I don't generally do the short term price predictions because it's it's more about the long term. It's more about buying dollar cost averaging in um, if it does come down finding a way to you know gather as much as you want for your eventual exit plan to make the money that you want to make right as well as be a part of the project that you want to be a part of so when it comes to these short-term exit plans you have to understand you have to take them with a grain of salt um, i like to get all of those short-term exit plans from um you know experts and i'll say quote unquote experts um, and uh, we're going to go into uh, Market Watch uh, for this one. We're going to look at uh, what we have there. I believe it's Market Watch. I can't remember exactly what the uh, overall uh, Watcher Guru. Sorry. Uh, so we're going through Watcher Guru. We're going through an article, a piece of the article, to see where they believe the surge will go to and uh, how high we'll see this price in the month of April. Now we only have about 11 days left. <clears throat> until we see the end of this month so we need to see something truly pick up you know and you know know we have the having that's uh coming up very very soon so what's going to be the impact there so if you guys could make sure you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more of these videos also make sure you check out any of the links that are down below it does help out the channel and if you guys want to follow me on twitter follow me on patreon those links are in the description now uh don't forget about my margex link if you guys want to trade xrp you can trade it up to a 50x leverage you can trade btc to a um you know 100x leverage if you want to but uh you have the opportunity to leverage trade over on that platform if you're interested in that uh so let's go ahead and look at what we are here to talk about which is xrp uh first understand that today uh, i didn't do a live stream so i apologize for not being able to get to a live stream today at a couple of things that were really um you know just kind of at the forefront they were in front of everything else um but the uh, global crypto market is at a 2.3 uh trillion dollar market cap uh, sitting up about 3% on the day. Bitcoin's dominance has, I believe, slightly increased, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but more, more importantly, we're talking about XRP, which is up 0.36% uh, at the time of recording this video. Let's see if it does update, because sometimes this ends up being a wrong <clears throat> in a way. But the price is up to about 50 cents. Um, obviously, haven't seen much of a an overall push of this position we expect to see so much more but you know with uh, kind of a little bit of negative news i guess we can say when it comes to uh, the fact that the sec versus ripple could go to the supreme court that might not be the best case scenario for xrp but overall we know we're going to get that clarity uh from this position we're going to get that clarity from um the sec from this case to say, you know, not only whether XRP is a security or not, which it, right now it is not and has that legal clarity, but also <clears throat> understanding how we define that and how we break that all down. So I think this is going to be big for the crypto market. Um, now, if we look at how much I have in my overall balance, I have $33,569. I still am down on my position uh, from where my original or... Um, uh, cost basis is my original investment was at 39 cents but then you know obviously averaging in and continuing to average in it brought it up a lot higher we are seeing a 29 billion dollar mark sorry 27 billion dollar market cap and um it's it's seeing a two billion dollar volume day <clears throat> so just to give you those kind of that uh information there let's get into the news right because you guys want to know exactly what the price prediction for xrp is for this month now again i don't typically do these short-term price predictions uh, just because i like to focus more on the long term i can break things down a lot more it's just um, you know, a lot more digging and i tend to leave it to the experts because honestly no one truly knows where this is going short term we know where it's going long term right we know that the overall markets are going to increase but short term is where it gets very difficult to understand exactly how the market is going to react to everybody else buying to any type of news and all that stuff 
So we have this article that really focuses on the price prediction. It does go through um, a lot of other stuff. So um, Ripple XRP price prediction for um, April end. Now it goes through a lot of um, other information talking about BTC and talking about the overall market. But we go into this uh, part right here. Ripple XRP price prediction for April end. According to uh, Coindex, a uh, Coin Codex, a Ripple a Ripple's XRP could surge to 64 or almost 65 cents on April 23rd, 2024, reaching uh, 64.6, uh, 64.7 from uh, the current levels would translate a growth of about 29.6%. However, Coin Codex anticipates XRP's price to drop a little after <clears throat> after hitting the 64 65 uh, cent mark the um the platform anticipates uh, xrp to trade at 62 cents on april 30th 2024 so actually at the month end this is where they predict for this to go that it's going to reach another high point or another level of uh, resistance there and actually uh, start to recede start to pull back from there now what will happen after that who's really to say and maybe they'll have an article that will that will talk about that but they do have exactly the fact that it is uh, dropping down from this previous price, right? It's going to pick up and jump up to uh, where this is and kind of start to, uh, you know, trail off at the end of the year. Now, <clears throat> does it or sorry, at the end of the month. Now, does this mean that we're going to see it? We're going to see it just massively spike because of the having is that the reason? Um, what's the, the full reason uh, behind this? So I don't know if they have uh, they have something for Chainsley. So Chainsley also anticipates uh, XRP's price to rise over the next few days. The platform predicts XRP to hit 63 cents on April 30th, 2024, uh, and rise about 26.7% from current levels. Um, one of the most significant barriers for XRP's price is the ongoing lawsuit between the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, and Ripple. Although the uh, fintech company um, <clears throat> received a a partially favorable verdict uh, from a, a district court. The suit is now um, in high court. If the high court are ruled similarly to the the uh, district court, we may witness a massive price spike uh, for XRP. Very very interesting. I think that is a a big point to um, XRP's. Uh, growth, uh, short-term growth, I would say. Long-term growth, we obviously want to see clarity. I talked about that earlier. And if we do see that clarity, expect to see large moves um, you know, as time goes on, not just within the month, but with month to month to month to month. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> anyways, uh, I just wanted to bring this up because I don't really have a short-term price prediction. You know, I'm looking at more of the long-term and I'm looking at certain levels to get to, not certain dates. So it doesn't matter when that does happen. These are the levels where I'm going to take my overall profit and pull out my uh, some of my investment. Um, and not all of it, but some of my investment. So let me know what you think about these price predictions. Do you think that we'll see this level or do you think everything is going to fall? Because typically after the halving, which this is not a typical month or a typical year or a typical bull run, right? Um, typically after the halving, we don't really see the most positive uh, movement in the crypto market, but this may change, right? And if that does change and we see all of these predictions that are pushing it that way, that totally makes sense. Um, but guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you take some time to check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. Um, and if you guys want to um, check out um, my Margex link, feel free to check that out. That link is also down there. But I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.